You like that part of it? All right, so we've officially owned this golf cart three weeks, four weeks. It's been almost a month, 15 miles. 15 miles on it, and you know I can't leave anything alone. What are we doing, buddy? Are we gonna mod the golf cart? Mm -hmm. We cannot leave anything alone. We gotta mod everything. Even though this thing, stock, is pretty, pretty good. Like, you really don't need to do anything to it, but we're going to. We got it. We got our new golf cart, buddy. We got our new golf cart. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it. I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. You ready to start modding the golf cart, huh? Let's show them. Like, this is our first, first batch of mods. And this thing pretty much is stock right now. So these are gonna be, like, I guess your first essential mods. And what do we got here, buddy? We have on, we're gonna put underglow on the golf cart. Oh yeah, we're gonna make it a little fast and furious. We got some armrests that we got off of Amazon too as well. We're gonna and mount. We're gonna put hinges so it, so it goes like this, so this can open. He's got it all figured out, don't you, buddy? Here, we don't need that. This is the underglow. Oh, uh, it's got a uh, 3M adhesive on one side. This that you can peel off and stick on it. So it's just two wires and that's it. You've got a remote and there should be an app to download. That's probably what that is. What does A and B and C and D mean? Is, that is it supposed to sing oh. the alphabet? <laughs> Maybe. This is Amazon, man. It's like, these things are pretty cheap. We got a new mat coming for it. It's kind of like the golf cart version of like WeatherTech. This one was like 15 bucks. I don't even know what's in this. Because you know when you order stuff on Amazon and they're like, well, most people that bought this also bought this. But there's four of these. I think for a car, like the tube style one will work better than the LED strips. But on here, on this golf cart, it has a tubular frame so you can take those lights and just zip tie it to that tubular frame always want to test it out before you actually install it to make sure it all works we've got it running off of a milwaukee battery right now should we just install that and just use a milwaukee battery on it no because then we would have to bring in 80 milwaukee batteries with us all the time what is that <laughs> So there is like one essential mod that everyone that has a golf cart needs this. So if you own a golf cart and you don't have this, you wanna show them what it is, buddy? Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be the first must have mod for any golf cart owner. What do we got there? A music player. A music player? Mm -hmm. So this right here is a sound bar. It's from Eco X Gear. When it comes to like these sound bars, and I started doing some research, this one hands down like blows every one of the other ones out of the water. I was looking at a bunch of different ones and I even made a post on the Icon Golf Cart page to see what everybody else is using. And I mean, everyone comment section was just flooded with Eco X Gear, Eco X Gear. So we're gonna install this. And I think we're gonna install it up at the top because when you're at the campground, you gotta roll around with your tunes. It's got four mid-range, two tweeters, two subwoofers. I'm guessing the subwoofers are on the end spots. Four mid-range are probably these. And then those little ones right there and between those are gotta be the tweeters. Then it's got the light bar. And it's also got lights that light up all the speakers. And it looks like it's got like a carbon look to it. And it can light up blue. It can light up blue too. It's waterproof, mudproof, sandproof, shockproof, snowproof. So what do you think, buddy? When something splashes it, it just doesn't do anything. It just is still hot. So like Liam says, it's waterproof. And sandproof. Let's open it up. Open box right here for you guys. Rip that thing apart. There you go. It's like Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so the, these are the straps. Yep, those are the uh, brackets that mount onto the side of it. Moat, wiring, hardware, more hardware. It looks pretty simple. It's just your positive and negative wire, so that's gonna be easy. The model number on this one is SE26. Yep, there's instructions. What's the first song you wanna play on there? Driving with my eyes closed. Driving with your eyes closed? Mm -hmm. That's uh, Sam Hunt, Body Like a Back Road. Maybe we'll play some Sam Hunt on here for the first time. Pull it out of the plastic. Pull that plastic off, buddy. Wow, look at that. This thing is nice. Look how 
right here. Yeah, doesn't that look cool, buddy? Mm -hmm. Wow, that thing is nice. And it's got a, look at that. It's even got a USB port on it. That is sweet. And you got all your controls here, you, which you also got a remote. This thing's sweet. And there's the light bar on the back. I like this. I like it too. What we'll do, we'll go ahead and get it mounted because I think we're going to mount it like right up here and uh, just go with it from there. And I like the fact that it kind of gives you this plug. So if you do want to take it off or disconnect it, you can. All right, so we are gonna finally try to get this thing mounted. I just had it mounted up here, and Johnny's over here helping me. Yep. Had it mounted up here in this spot. This is typically where you see most people that mount the sound bar, but we're gonna custom build a mount, and we're gonna try to reuse these bolts, and we're gonna use like a little L bracket. We just got back from Lowe's. Let me show you guys what we have. Basically, have this piece of metal some miscellaneous uh l brackets we've got another one of these it's somewhere i had it mounted I up here i rubbed it off it was rubbing the roof right there so we had like a little mark there and then it was like too close to this and it was like right up against i don't know if you can see it you, it was kind of rubbing yep, up against one right here like a mark. little mark right there where it was like kind of rubbing up against that as i was driving you could hear it slapping the roof a little bit so now we're going to custom build a bracket for it i think that's going to be a lot more gooder do you think we need to put it on the lift should we raise it up some dude it probably would it fit on it fit on the lift <laughs> we should just for a picture i did put a tinted windshield in this thing too we we got the tinted windshield in here so we went camping at beth page and there's a guy in there mike he basically sells all these icons and has parts on hand and he had the windshield so i went ahead and grabbed it looks a lot more gooder with the tinted windshield we basically took the bolt out hand tight should be fine for now yeah hand tight for now but look at that that's the bracket and what's nice about that we didn't drill any holes because see my thing is i don't typically like to drill into stuff especially when things are brand new Set it up on there, measure it. Take, take that in. <laughs> hey, why would you do that, Johnny? That's mean. Because she's on fire. She got hot on. Oh, man, that's so, messed up. Yeah, it's, 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 it's hot, but not as... It's warm, but it ain't going to yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. What do you think? So that's our little bracket. Okay, so the original brackets that I showed you that we were going to use, those, we're not using those now. Now, I just found these. They came with my cup holder armrests, which are right here. Because the Icon cart has a tubular frame, these don't work. But this has the square frame. So what we're doing, see how we got it mounted up there? Because I was just trying to get this up a little bit higher. And then I'm actually going to paint this bracket black, keep the uh, sound bar a little bit higher up. All right, so we're getting back to this. I That bracket that we showed you guys, this is next day. Next day, we're picking this back up. Just hit it with some paint. We're gonna mount it up here, and we've got these brackets already mounted, which you guys already, I think, saw that. I'll kind of show you guys the gist of everything once I get it up there. All right, bar is mounted. Now, time to hang the sound bar. Got your help? So the sound bar actually came with these, which are kind of nice, so they fit in there perfect. It's gonna help it set flush. I'll go right up through there. What do you think, Logan? Mm. Huh? I don't think it's gonna tap the roof anymore. Yeah, we had it over there and it was tapping the roof. Look at that. She's in there. It's not too high up, just perfect. Now we just gotta get all of our wires routed and cleaned up. Show them, buddy, how you can sit in the driver's seat and hit the buttons. Well, keep in mind, Logan's a little shorter, but for a grown-up, an adult, it's way easier to hit the button. Also, I have a remote for it. Yep, we mounted the remote right here. There's a guy on the Icon Facebook page that makes these mounts and the steering wheel, so we have the remote for it. That mount, it looks factory. Okay, so for some of you guys that might be watching this video trying to see where to wire this stuff in. So for the underglow, 
this stuff just pops right off. So here is the little control box and all the wiring for the underglow. And the underglow, I actually wired it in to this little USB port right here. That's where I wired the underglow. I just kind of used little splices and just spliced in for that. So that's how I wired the underglow. You're basically an electrician, babe. For the actual sound bar, the cool thing about these Icon carts is they come with the 12 volt inverters. Like a lot of the golf carts don't come with those tapped in right here. Right underneath the seat, there's this little harness right here. And you can see where I just kind of spliced in. Just came up through and just kind of just zip tied all my wires and ran them over there to the sound bar. It's already dark a little bit, but it doesn't really look dark looking through the viewfinder on the camera. Normally, I don't like to start filming when it's dark, but in this situation, I think it's better. We have underglow. They got the lights on the sound bar. We're going to show you the first five mods that we did to the golf cart. So I think it might be more than five, actually. You think it's more than five, Logan? We'll, we'll go with five because five just sounds like a good number to go with. But we've already modded the golf cart. We've done a few things to it. And Laura's probably not going to watch this video. So she's over there watering her garden. We're going to do more to it. We're not done. Because if we just stopped right there, that just wouldn't be like the joyride way. So we're gonna do more. So out of all of the mods, which one is the best one? Which one's the coolest? Um, this one. Um, well, the whole golf cart's cool. What's your favorite? The sound bar. Yeah. That one's my favorite too. Which one's your favorite, Liam? Um, this one that, that you guys like. The sound, hands down, if you guys have a golf cart, this works on a goat cart, side by side. You could pretty much use that sound bar on anything. And hands down, that is probably my most favorite mod that we have done to this golf cart. You can probably put one in the Malibu because it does have a radio <laughs> Right? We could put one in the Malibu. They also make another one, because see this one? The way we mounted it, it's actually kind of cool because see this LED strip in the front? It's almost like a light bar in the front of the uh, golf cart and you could change the colors on that. And there is the floor mat that we mentioned, that I mentioned that we were gonna get Amazon. Let's go over the mods, so the the, be, the best mod of all, the Eco X Gear soundbar. The underglow is cool too, and then... I wanna put um, airbags on it. Airbags. Mod one, soundbar. Mod two would be like underglow. Mod three, floor mat. Mod four would be the um, windshield that we put on, tented windshield. I guess this would be the last mod that we've done to it, cup holder armrest, and we put them on hinges. Out of everything that we've done to the golf cart, what's your favorite? Probably the cup holder. The cup holders? I gotta have my coffee. That's how bougie you are. Which one would you go with, Liam? That is not bougie. The cup holder. <laughs> he just says what everybody else says. So you need your me and Me and Logan's with the sound bar. You don't need cup holders. It comes with cup holders. But if I'm on the back. Sound bar by far. But let's uh, show them how it works and hit the power button. Okay. Yep, phone is already. All right, so my phone is already connected to it. Hit the light button, buddy. For the that's the front light. Oh, Liam wants to change his boat. Oh wow, whoa, that's bright. And it, okay, so it has multiple dim levels for uh, the front light bar, and it worked out perfect with the windshield right there. And in the windshield, in case anybody's wondering, it does not interfere. Yep. Oh my gosh, babies are having a fit. But you want to change your vote? He didn't know he could vote for the sound bar. You didn't know? So which one is the best? Oh my. Welcome to our world. This is the part where everybody clicks off the videos like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> okay, and they change colors. We oh, that, the, okay, that's the one where it goes through the different colors and I think it goes with the music too as well. Yeah. So when you have music playing, it goes with the music and it looks awesome. Now, it's time to test it. I'm not a fan with the armrest sticking out like that. It, to me, it doesn't look right. Kind of looks tacky. So we are coming up with a solution because when they're in like this, the seat won't fold up. So we're coming up with a solution for that. This is pretty much the hardware that we used for mounting these hinges. So this we used basically as a sleeve hex head bolt. Obviously you've got the bracket. We had to drill out that hole a little bit more 
send that through and it that sleeve actually helps that bolt it fit perfect that was like a very lucky find right there and then we just got a washer and then a lock and nut and we basically kind of like lined it up and just kind of got it like even take the hinge off and then just self tapped them onto the spots because it's not going to actually be even see how it's like in an angle you close it it's completely even but that was just a test fit and they look good we can now fold up the seat these are the steel spacers that we used so you can probably screenshot that flat cap screws we used my self tappers it's a nice little kit that's one we use hope that helps anybody that wants to put armrests on an icon cart and these brackets were got off of amazon just one or two may not yeah. hold as well dude that thing is it's on there goes through and there you go finished product right there boom your seat does not hit your armrests that's pretty sweet because most of the other ones yep she'll tell you all about it where they're flipped around backwards it doesn't look right how does it feel normal it doesn't feel like it's um cheap or gonna fall apart Over here, Mina. we can get the boys to test it oh yeah they're definitely going to and it's baby proof well once we get them corners rounded off yeah so the only thing i would suggest round off those corners right there yeah we're gonna round them corners off and uh, spray paint them black not sure if i showed you guys this or not but you can pretty much change the color any color you want which is kind of cool yeah so there's a bunch of different options for the underglow and there's an app for it hope you guys enjoyed the first episode i guess on modding the golf cart so what should our next mod be what should the next mod be Maybe tow mirrors tow mirrors really see we got our tow mirrors yeah we might need tow mirrors to haul all that booty right maybe wheels i mean i like these wheels Thing. I know you'll probably do something to make it faster. Definitely. I think I mentioned that in, I think, what was it, the first video? So I think wheels make it faster. I mean, there's some other stuff. I've even thought about wrapping it, but I love this red color. Or when we rewrap the GT500, wrap the golf cart to match it. Oh my gosh. We got another uh, addition to the Joyride family. We got another vehicle. And just stay tuned. We will be introducing that to the channel here soon. Just wanted to leave you guys off with that. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye-bye.